Hey, what's up? What's good, y'all? Uh, had a dream last night. Uh, what's, what is today? Day? Maybe the 11th of March. Uh, but I had a dream last night, 2018. But I had a dream last night that I was uh, coming out of my house. And it was this guy uh, in my neighborhood. I've told y'all about him. I didn't name his name. His name is Joseph. Might as well tell you his name is Joseph. Uh, but you know, he, he's around the neighborhood all the time. Um, you know, don't know what I told y'all before. I don't know what all he get into, but he, he be out there, you know what I mean? Uh, but I'll, let's see. But he was the one that came to me one time, you know. Uh, like I say, man, there's some, some people telling people around my neighborhood in my, uh, where I live at, you know what I mean, like the uh, kind of the, the homeless people, the uh, you know, the, the oppressed, uh, but my neighbors, you know what I mean, like I told you, I kind of stay in a rough neighborhood, um, you could call it, uh, but we always been safe, but I'm just saying like, you know, it's still a rough neighborhood, you know, it's still gunshots, people getting shot, it was somebody got shot up the street uh, probably a couple of weeks ago, I, saw, I heard a couple of shots laying in the bed. I heard a couple of shots and somebody got shot up the street. I don't know where, I don't even know if they was, all right, I don't know who it was, but they got shot, you know what I mean, right up the street by, by this church. Uh, so, you know, so uh, so this guy, you know, like I said, he walks around the neighborhood, you know, he, he uh, definitely hit me up one time, so he's definitely in the gang, a crib. Uh, Cause my, like my neighborhood is all, they call it Hooverland. So uh, yeah, my my uh, my neighborhood where I'm, where I grew up or whatever from 2000 to now uh, is Hooverland, and where I grew up before that was uh, pretty much Agland, I think Agland. But all Crips though. But like I said, I never joined the gang. Uh, nothing like that. Thank the Lord. You know what I mean? It was there for me, I'm sure, and just like a lot of other people. But I'm thankful I didn't didn't. Uh, Thank me, he blessed me not to be able to, not to have the want to do that, and you know what I mean, want something different for myself. And I pray for all of those who are in those lifestyles or whatever, you know, because it's for life. So you know, uh, so God bless them on their journey. You know, y'all still can be productive citizens. Y'all still can, you know, because what y'all join the set, y'all that's that's never gonna change. You know, that's a lifelong commitment. Uh, from what I hear, you know what I mean. So. Which I still can can do positive things with your life, you know what I mean? Like look at Snoop Dogg, you know what I mean? Like it's people that's been in gangs, you know, that you know, that that can can start up youth leagues and football leagues and different stuff, you know, all kinds of things. They can be positive regardless of uh, you know, if they had gang ties or whatever, you know, back in the days or still, they still can can be productive citizens. So this guy, uh, you know, I've had a few a few dreams about him. Uh, Joseph, uh, he walked, he walked. Uh, one time he was, uh, he came up to my back door and I was, you know, eerie. Because this guy, he don't really like, he halfway speak, you know what I'm saying? Like he be, he like halfway speak. So, you know what I'm saying? Like not trying, I don't know if he trying to be friendly. Like the first time I ever seen him or like, you know what I'm saying? He was coming down the alley. And uh, me and my homeboy was out in the backyard and he hit me up, you know what I'm saying? Like gang, with his gang signs, you know what I'm saying? He hit me up, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I, was, just, I was just looking up, you know what I'm saying? He passed through the alley, so he hit me up. And then I gave him a thumbs up, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, what's up? You know what I mean? Like, you hit me, I don't, it don't make me no difference. I don't, I'm not in nothing, so <laughs> it don't make me no difference. Good job, happy for you. You know what I mean? So, uh, so he smiled when I did that. When I gave him the thumbs up, he smiled, and uh, you know he like smiled and like was like, oh, okay. I guess he probably like, okay, this dude cool. Cause at first when he hit me up, it was like that nigga. What you looking at, nigga? Nigga, this my set, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying, type shit. You know. But uh, he didn't say nothing. He just hit me up. You can see the facial expressions of a person in different things. You know what I mean? So. Uh, so that was so the first dream, you know, he came. So he, I mean, not the first, probably. Let me see. You know, uh, but he came to me, and uh, he was like, uh, came to my back door. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I was going to close the back door, and he came 
uh, and kind of like opened my back door. And uh, and, uh, and I was like, mama, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, 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 cause I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, cause I told y'all how he kind of acts. So I really don't know the guy. So I don't know, and he's a street dude. So I don't really know, I don't know him like that. So, you know, I gotta be cautious. And so, uh, so I'm like, mama, you know what I'm saying? Be calling no mama. Nah, but I was calling on mama, you know what I'm saying? Just cause I just wasn't comfortable. It wasn't scary and he wasn't like trying to break in the house. It was more like he was just trying to come in. Uh, then the next time I seen him, he was in this huge field, like this huge crop field, you know, grass field. It was huge. And uh, he was out there working. Uh, he was out there working and then I went up, uh, he was out there working in the field. And uh, then I went upstairs, seen uh, in these apartments, I seen Shay and her daughter uh, up there. You know what I mean? And uh, I was like taking care of her daughter. She would let me watch her daughter for her, you know what I'm saying? So she was really trusting me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with her daughter and stuff. Uh, and just her life in general. Uh, Cause her, her daughter is a world, you know what I'm saying? Shay's daughter seems like it's a world, you know what I mean? So if she trusts me with that, you know, she trusts me quite, quite a bit. Uh, so then the next one I seen with Joseph, uh, he was, uh, I just been sick, so now, you know what I'm saying, I've been seeing it, and then I see him in person, like, so after I seen that one dream where he was coming into my door, and I'm gonna show you how prophecy works. So after I had that first dream where he was uh, coming into my back door, uh, you know, without, with it basically without permission, he just came in, you know what I'm saying? I didn't tell him to come in or anything. I was surprised that he came in. So uh, after I had that dream, uh, which that dream means prophecy, you know what I'm saying? Like back door is supposed to mean like past or something like that, but it's supposed to be something that, I know front porch has to do with prophecy, but back porch, I don't know, past, history, something like that. But either way, he came in the back door. Uh, and after I had that dream, then I seen him in the awake world, uh, maybe a night, uh, maybe a day or two later, I'm not sure. But I saw him walking down the street. So, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, I had to dream with this man. So let me see what's going on. So I, you know, I speak to him. Uh, I say, what's going on? How you doing, man? And uh, he's like, he was like, uh, I'm doing, he was like, shoot, man, I'm I'm living. He was like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm above the ground, not below it. You know what I mean? And so, uh, and you know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, it's something that, you know, cause I've done nothing, man. But since I've been there for 20 years, man, you know, I've done nothing but be nice and kind to the homeless, give to the homeless, treat the people like with respect, uh, pray for the homeless. I mean, I'm just saying like the street people, you know what I'm saying? The, the drug, I'm telling y'all, man, listen, it's drug dealers in my neighborhood, it's drug dealers in my neighborhood, it's gang members in my neighborhood, it's homeless people in my neighborhood. <laughs> It's all kinds of people in my neighborhood, you understand? Uh, I've been very kind to them. I've been very nice to them. I've, uh, like I say, I've gave gave them coats. You know, I see it's cold, raining outside. I give them, you know, I give a person a coat, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm just giving y'all an example, but I'm just saying like these things or these kind gestures also plus, you know, just, and also giving the word, you know, and representing the Lord, you know, even though I'm in the hood, you know, and uh, not even though, cause I love the hood, you know what I'm saying? People try and make it dirty, but it is what it is. You can't make me feel like I'm dirty cause I come from the hood. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just how it is, you know what I mean? You can't hate on me for being who I am from coming from the hood, you know, and knowing the things and that I know from knowing from, from coming from the hood. So, uh, so, you know, they just, so they just be saying stuff like that to me, you know what I'm saying? They always, when they, a lot of times people come up to me, they be like, you know, uh, I just ask them how they doing. They be like, the Lord, you know, the Lord is blessing me. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Like they know that I'm down with the Lord. Like the message, the word around is that, you know, that I am a, a person of the Lord. And I can tell y'all so many times that the Lord has given me dreams and sent people to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, like one time I had a dream about, uh, this lady named Miss Susan, you know what I mean? Like she, she's on crack, you know, I don't know if she is now, but she's on crack, you know what I mean? She was on crack, you can tell, you know what I mean? But she still got sense, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes she not high either. 
Uh, but even when she is high, you know, she still, like, you know, she still know what's going on. But anyway, so I had a dream about her one time. I mean, I could just keep, like, over the years, bro, like, God has used me right where I've been at in my neighborhood, you understand? Uh, and so I could just tell you so many times, man, like, uh, but yeah, she, she, uh, she was in my dream, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, what was, I can't even remember now, man, but she was like, you could see she was in the dream. She was like normal, you know what I'm saying? Like she wasn't on drugs. I don't know how to explain it. I can't remember. But anyway, you know, she came one day extremely hungry talking about, you know, she didn't have nothing to eat, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, like she was serious about it. I know she was serious about it. So, uh, but I gave her, you know, went and gave her some food, some chicken and they, things like that, you know, some chicken legs or something, man. You know, she, her, her eyes well, they start fill, filling up with tears, you know what I mean? So she was really hungry, uh, you know, and I was able to bless her, you know, through the Lord. You know, she, I think she said, matter of fact, she said, I think she said uh, that the Lord told her to come to my door, you know what I mean? And uh, so she came to my door and I was a faithful servant, you know what I mean? Not even, you know, but uh, and but God had prepared me before I even was able to be in that situation. He gave me a dream before saying, you know, this is a person's soul you have to save. I can't remember exactly what it was. She was either on drugs in the dream, but something was good about her or something. I can't, you know what I mean? Like you could, so uh, another one was, uh, and then I get to Joseph real quick. Uh, another one was, uh, what was her name? Her name was Teddy Bear. Like, she gave me a nickname. I don't know what her real name was, but I had a dream that she had uh, broke into my roof. Like, she took my she took my roof off in order to uh, get in my house or whatever, you know what I mean? And at the time, I was like, dang. Like, it felt like they was breaking in. You know, it's like these people, they break in, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but it's a good thing. They break into my home, you know what I'm saying? I guess by any means necessary, but it's not a bad thing. It's like... They're coming into my spiritual home, whether I, I invite them or not, they're there, they're coming. So I had a dream, you know, she had came in through my roof. And if you can remember uh, a real life circumstance when Jesus was, I forgot where he was, but people were coming to get healed and things like that. And Jesus, uh, people were coming to get healed and stuff like that. And, uh, and it was this paralyzed person, you know what I'm saying? The crowds were just so, so, so thick, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't get through, couldn't get through the door. So they, uh, some friends of this person who was paralyzed, if they wanted him to, you know, to get healed, they made some kind of thing, some ropes or something, put them around him and lowered him down into the house. You know what I mean? Like Jesus didn't approve of it. Jesus didn't even, I'm, what I'm saying is Jesus didn't say, hey, come on and do that because it's all these people here. They just did it, you know what I'm saying? Because they wanted the blessings. So they just did it on their own. Um, and so that's what this that, that part reminded me of. Uh, I had a dream with Joseph last night where he was uh, he was uh, coming down. Uh, he was in my driveway, and he was parked in my driveway. He had a car, uh, which is very significant. Uh, he had a car. Uh, and he was, uh, you know, he was in my driveway. So when I come out the house, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, like I told you, I halfway speak to him, I halfway don't, you know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes still I speak to him, he don't speak. You know what I'm saying? Just like, that's just how he being, you know what I'm saying? That's who he is, what he want to do. So I ain't tripping on him, I ain't mad at him. You know what I mean? Like, so I just, I speak to him some, sometimes, sometimes I don't, you know, a lot of times I don't. You know, if he want to speak to me, he can. You know, uh, cause I'm not finna be just being like extra friendly, you know what I'm saying? And then a nigga be looking at you like, you know what I mean? Like, what you, who you, why you talking, you know? He don't be rude. I can see a humbleness in the man's eyes. Be honest with you, you can tell in a man's eyes, bro. You can see whether a man humble, angry, you can see in the eyes of a person, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and so, uh, I was thinking in my head, a, a killer taught me that one time, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he ain't a killer, but. He told me, he told me, man, just look at a man's eyes. You can tell a lot of things from a man's eyes. You know what I'm saying? A dude that's been in the streets, you know what I'm saying? So he, he know, he been in a lot of, been in some confrontations too. So, you know what I'm saying? He know. So yeah, so the man, you know what I'm saying? He's, he humble. Let me, 